All right, I'll be the first to admit it. This boat project is going to be a very gritty, gritty, gritty experience. <laughs> Well, what do I mean by that? Well, it means there's a lot of sanding and grinding of fiberglass that's in my future. <laughs> so, now that I think I have rounded up and rustled down a buyer for my camper, that's going to free up some money. And now I'm going to get to buy some materials for the boat. Um, but even more importantly is I've got to have space pretty soon to put the boat into. Woohoo! That makes me so happy because I really don't want to be building a boat on the street because that's the worst case scenario. That's how you really upset your neighbors. So I'm not doing work on the boat right now. I washed her up, got her clean, and made her safe to walk around, tied everything down. And then um, I made her water tight, put the windows in, but I really don't want to upset my neighbors. While my house is a county property, um, I still could have neighbors get upset with me and I don't want that. So the best scenario, the best scenario <laughs> is to sell the camper, which I think I have a good guy that really loves my Lance camper as much as I do. And um, so I think we're going to work through that process. You know, he's a new guy, just bought a truck on Friday and is ready to throw this Lance on top and go out there and explore the world. So <laughs> I'm going to um, leave him with a notepad full of my wisdom and how to make that successful and take care of this really pretty camper. And um, I know I'm diverting from the subject that's on the table here, but it all ties together because I'm selling the camper, which is freeing up money and space so that I can work on the boat. But I snuck ahead a little bit because I like to do this. I like to always have a little edge where I'm just like, okay, what's next? Let's do that and get prepared. So I watch um, Boat Works today with Andy, and he does a lot of great fiberglassing on boats and stuff. And I think it's really good to acknowledge these craftsmen who do this as a profession and are, you know, amazing enough to spend their time making a YouTube video showing us all how it's done. And so I've watched a lot of Boat Works Today videos on how to fiberglass. I have seen a lot of Mads uh, Sail Life videos, which Mads actually has called Andy for advice on how to fiberglass. And I love that the community works together. So I know that the Bee Venom community works together, and I've done a lot of that work, like, thousands of times and it's very rewarding so i'm looking forward to joining the uh sailing boat community but um andy has this really great makita um belt sander that he recommended to mads and mads bought one and all of the sail live videos talks about mads and how great this uh sander is and I've seen him use it time and again, and it looks phenomenal. Well, as a really poor, broke Lyme disease patient, I don't have 300 bucks to fork out on a Makita, you know, belt sander. So what I did is I went to my Home Depot site and I ordered a Ryobi. And I've got a lot of Ryobi tools. I like them. They're kind of 